in Switzerland and um, I really like it. Alright, um, uh, are there any more feelings I have about it? What is your favorite ice cream? Or... Oh, I like the flavor caramelita. 
Do you know that? Have you tried before? No, I have not. It's really good. And the milk is really like a um, <laughs> fresh one because it comes direct from the cool. So <laughs> you can have this very good ice cream. Alright. We have a bunch of people yelling right there because they're talking with someone. But anyways, um, I would just like to say, once again, this is a beautiful ice cream place here. And camera woman, would you please show everyone working over there? So right here we got my ice cream. We got a lava cake right here. Uh, we got a mint chocolate and a strawberry vodka, uh, which is also cold cream mostly. Uh, but yeah, so my ice cream is so right now we're eating the food. almost no place here in Switzerland you cannot go by transportation. Another good thing is that you only need one ticket which you can use for the train, for the bus, for the tram. So it's very convenient. It's not like you're buying a train ticket and now I need to buy a ticket for the tram. Your ticket is still valid in the area here of Zurich. It's just phenomenal. Everything goes on time. Also no delay. Even when you have snow, rain, it is fantastic. Even in the mountains, you can go by train. Right. Um, could you please explain to us how you would buy a ticket here? It's very easy. Actually, at various stations, you have a ticket, a ticket machine. You can do it in English, German, French, and Italian. And you can pay by debit card, the major credit cards, and Swiss francs, and even in euros. Yeah, um, and we just missed our stuff, but let's keep on going with the interview. We're going to the next one. Yeah, and anyways, um, uh, what are, is there any more different types of transportations here? Yeah, we have the tram, we have the buses, even by boat, because you can take a boat here to some certain cities here from the lake, which already was on one time ago, two years ago. And the trains, the high-speed trains, uh, cable cars. Um, how are the people on the trains? Are the drivers nice? Do They're very nice. They give you always a good information. If there's any delay, they will let you know. Even other trains wait for other trains, so you can still make your connection. It is very, very organized here. And it's clean. And it's safe. Anyways, uh, Thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and stay on the flip side and stay frosty. Hello, my name is Joseph Rivero, USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King, and today we are in Luzenberg with Alki, and we're in this beautiful garden. Camera one, please show. And now, Alki, um, how do you feel about Luzenberg? What does it mean to you? It's a beautiful historical city. And a lot of people don't know about Luxembourg, but it's actually very historical and it's actually very important. It's one of the smallest countries of the European Union. We only have here 537,000 uh, population here in Luxembourg. And one thing, the country is Luxembourg, but the capital of Luxembourg is also called Luxembourg. It's actually very City. important. It's one of the smallest countries of the European Union. We only have here 537,000 uh, population here in Luxembourg. And one thing, the country is Luxembourg, but the capital of Luxembourg is also called Luxembourg City. And now, we are here at this famous bridge, maybe you can show it. This is built in uh, 1900. 
1900. This build was finished in 1905 and it's 153 meters long which you can see it has two levels. You have the upper level where people can walk and have the cars and then you have the level lower where you can bike and cross the bridge as well. Also has a beautiful park here where you can climb down with a lot of trees, with a lot of flowers if you can see behind. And you can really spend one or two days I would say here to see the city. You can mostly you can do everything by walking. As I said it is a small city but it's uh, very very nice to see the big pictures and lovely architecture. Alright and camera woman we have one more thing to show. There's this beautiful monument for the World War II and World War I over there. It's called the Golden Lady. Very beautiful. It's a very beautiful statue. And it's a it, symbol of peace. Yes. It, we learned it on this um, city scene bus. It was very beautiful and um, it would be amazing if you could come visit uh, it and send us a picture of it and anyways um, this is also a very beautiful garden here we have a bunch of flags up there and the main flag the big one the Lucenberg flag and another good thing to say is about Luxembourg it is surrounded by Germany and France Belgium. And also, there's Brazilian and American. One Correct. of the languages I know, English and Brazilian. And there's also this beautiful park over here. No need to show that, you probably saw it when you saw the bridge. And it's a very beautiful place. And you can walk around it. It's very huge. Lots of it to see very beautiful monument monuments houses and yeah that's basically all there is to Luxembourg or you just is it? say come over yep and thank you for watching thank you for your time and stay on the flip side and stay frosty turn it off <laughs>